A gravity-fed or flooded refrigeration system has all of the same components as the direct expansion system, but utilizes an additional vessel. Whereas the DX system piped the high-pressure liquid through an expansion device and directly into the evaporator, a flooded system is designed so that the liquid leaving the expansion device is piped into a vessel called a surge drum or accumulator. The surge drum is located above the evaporator, which allows the low pressure liquid from the vessel to be fed to the evaporator by gravity. As heat is absorbed in the evaporator, the liquid will boil, forming vapor, which is returned to the surge drum. The vapor rises to the top of the surge drum where it is piped to the compressor. Flooded systems are employed in part so that the flash gas formed through the expansion device never passes through the evaporator. Instead, the flash gas enters the surge drum and is returned to the compressor. This means that 100% liquid is supplied to the evaporator, which is preferable. Another advantage of flooded systems is that when multiple flooded evaporators are installed in the same system, they can be controlled at temperatures and pressures that are independent of each other. This allows for precise temperature control in different rooms, which is ideal for the fresh produce industry. The downside of a flooded system is that because each flooded zone requires a surge drum, the systems are more complex and expensive than direct expansion systems. The gravity fed and or flooded system um, kind of solves that problem of the flash gas by adding a surge drum or sometimes called an accumulator. So in this case, rather than taking uh, liquid directly into our evaporator, we'll first uh, supply it into a vessel. Um, this vessel, you can see I've drawn it with like a float switch, which would be interlocked with a solenoid valve in order to maintain this liquid level uh, of refrigerant that I'm showing you in the vessel. And by doing it this way, we still form flash gas, but instead of the flash gas um, getting uh, fed through the evaporator, the flash gas will rise to the top of the vessel and be taken directly back to the compressors. So we've, uh, we have not eliminated the flash gas, but we're not sending it through the evaporator. Instead, our liquid and vapor is separated inside the surge drum so that only liquid is supplied to the evaporator. That's why it's called a flooded, often called a flooded evaporator or a flooded type of system. Okay, um, so that is a, a taking care of our flash gas issue. The downside of the flooded system, of course, is that we had to install this vessel in the first place. That costs money, and each individual zone of refrigeration will have its own uh, surge drum, so the cost can add up. Furthermore, this liquid level, we have to maintain that level, which means flooded systems use quite a bit more refrigerant than an equivalent direct expansion system.